In continuing coverage at 5, a Colorado Springs man stopped an apparent robber by blasting him in the face with pepper spray. But his response raises questions tonight about the risks of self-defense. KRDO News Channel 13, Sydney Stell joins us in our newsroom with what we all need to know. Sid. Well, Bart, Heather, pepper spray might seem like a simple self-defense solution, but self-defense experts say it could actually put you at a greater risk for harm and easily escalate a situation. <laughs> A man walked out of a store on Academy and Shelton on Saturday morning when police say another man ran up and tried to rob him. He blasted the attacker with pepper spray and it harmed the suspect long enough for police to arrest him. But local self-defense expert Isaac Costley knows that story could have ended very differently. The key thing to remember is that this could also have occurred with someone else who didn't know how to deploy it or hadn't practiced with using it or it malfunctions. If your pepper spray is expired, the chemical won't be as effective. And since most pepper spray is mass produced, you can get a defective product as well. Isaac recommends you try using it to make sure it works. He also says you should put it in the same place every time and practice turning off the safety so you're prepared if you need to use it, reducing the chance that an attacker will be able to take it and use it against you. And then, even if you are as prepared as possible, Isaac says you'll always have to be ready for the worst case scenario. With anything that's chemical based, there's a percentage of the population where it will not affect them. If that individual who was the criminal, if it didn't affect him, now he saw that you were willing to do some aspect of fighting back, you just increased your probability of him escalating his aggression and his violence towards you. Which is why Isaac recommends just giving the thief what they want and putting your personal safety above all else. Remember, all those other things can be replaced, but you can't be. Now, Isaac is teaching a class this weekend. It is completely free, and it has those self-defense skills that you might need. If you've got any questions, that's a good place to start. Reporting from our newsroom, I'm Sydney Stell, KRDO News Channel 13.